The introduction of the shotgun and shotgun shells in Trinidad and Tobago saw many innovations. In the early days, the guns were not easily accessible to the population. They were available to the plantation owners and later, after the abolition of slavery and indentureship, they were made available to the many of the population, to many of the populations. There were many in the population who did not own firearms, either because of economics, their beliefs, or because they really had no use for the firearms. Guns were used mainly by estate owners to destroy pests and for hunting. Many of the people made their own guns. These guns were handheld and able to contain the power of the exploding shell. While it appears to be haphazardly assembled, it is almost 98% accurate and capable of killing or damaging man and animals. The target mostly is the animals, the lap, the deer, the hog, the tattoo. The barrel of the trap gun are placed in different height from the ground. Example 18 inches for deer, 4 inches for tattoo. This depend on the height of the animal and is calculated based on the experience and the terrain. These trap guns have been mainly used on animal feeding sites, tracks and water holes. They do not tire, not affected by the rain or the coal or mosquitoes, or they don't feel sleepy. They sit and wait and as placed, they sit and wait as placed until some animal or man touches the line. and fires with the potential to kill. And it has killed many animals, including man and dogs. The use of this trap gun is illegal because it is capable of killing. However, it cannot differentiate between animal or man. It has caused damage to many man. Do not give, it does not give animals the hunting chance of escape and destroys stock animals. It gives the predator, man, an advantage since it facilitates, since it facilitates one man to purchase up to 20, 30 animals at a time. The hunter or poacher only has to identify the animals. The hunter or poacher only has to identify the area and place the trap gun in position. He then waits on hearing the explosion of the shell. He moves in to take his catch. It has been found that hunters through persuasion and peer pressure also engage at times to setting these guns. They, however, are few. These guns are also placed to guard against marijuana plantations. These guns are silent and dangerous to all forest users. It makes the forest environment very unsafe. While it may be, while it may be a successful hunting tool, it is selfish, inconsiderate, and unjust to other forest users. It increases forest hazard by 60 to 70 percent while satisfying one man the man who indulges 
and this activity. We must all play a part in stopping the use of this trap gun. Speak to your friends, family and associates. Tell them to desist from its use. Tell them we all must make our forests safe.